Here's another recipe. This is the burger bar from Tyler Florence, Tyler's Ultimate, Ultimate Hamburgers. The level is easy. It takes 35 minutes, prep time 15 minutes, cook for 20 minutes, and, it take, and it's four burgers that yields. Of course, you need two pounds of brisket ground, some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper, four thin slices of Swiss cheese, and four hamburger buns split. You preheat a large cast iron skillet to medium hot. Take a few paper towels and fold them several times to make a thick square. Blot a small amount of oil into the paper towel and carefully and quickly wipe the hot skillet to make a non-stick surface. Season the ground meat in the bowl of salt and pepper. Give it about three turns in the bowl with your hands or a big spoon and it's done. Shape into four patties. When the skillet is hot, put the burgers on the skillet and cook for four minutes on the first side, five for the second side for rare. Set them minutes per side for medium, adding the cheese during the final minute or two to melt. Remove the burgers to a plate, rub the skillet with folded paper towel again to clean it, then toast the buns. Cut the for only one minute. That's just to mark them. Serve the hamburgers and the buns with the accompaniments below. For the saute mushroom saute, one pound of thickly sliced mushrooms and a quarter cup of Olive oil with two sliced garlic cloves and one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves over super high heat until nicely browned. Eight to ten minutes. Serve in a store a couple of drops of fresh lemon juice to brighten the flavor. The caramelized onions. You heat two tablespoons of unsalted butter and two tablespoons of olive oil in a large pan over medium heat. Add the two onions, cut into half inch thick slices, sprinkle salt and pepper, and cook slowly until well caramelized. Fifteen to twenty minutes. Tomatoes of sea salt and chives. Thickly slice two pounds of red and yellow beef steak tomatoes. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Drizzle with olive oil and sprinkle with sea salt and half a bunch of chopped fresh chives. Bacon with rosemary. Lay out a half a pound of sliced bacon on a baking sheet. Strip leaves from one sprig of rosemary and throw them on top with lots of cracked black pepper and roast at 400 degrees until the bacon is crisp. About 10 minutes. Some people shy away from baking, cooking bacon in the oven and others don't. I'll say this, cooking it in the oven is a better alternative instead of frying it up in a pan. It's it's much better that way. And the herb herb horseradish mayonnaise. Stir one cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of prepared horseradish, and a quarter cup of freshly minced herbs such as parsley, basil, chives, or scallions, two tablespoons of olive oil, a little squeeze of lemon juice, and of course the salt and the pepper. And with this burger bar. The sky's the limit. You can pick any of these toppings that you desire. But anyway, the ultimate burgers are truly amazing. You gotta, you can ask the butcher to have the ground for ground brisket, and he might let you have, might give you some. You never know. But that's the burger bar from Tyler Florence, and that'll do it. And I have one more recipe coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll tell you what it's gonna be.